Hello everybody, this is uh, Tommy and Alina. Um, today we're going to be discussing uh, Alina's diet. Um, she is how many days out? Oh, I don't know how many days. It's uh, It was nine weeks as of Saturday. Nine weeks so. as of Saturday. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the things that you're doing differently now as far as your diet, training? Um, so yeah, I'm uh, training for Junior Nationals uh, in Chicago. It's going to be my first national show. It's my third show. And um, so this past off season, it was, a little, it was actually a little rough for me. I just kind of, you know, did whatever with my diet. But when I um, dialed in, um, you know, I have a coach, Fakhri Mubarak. He's a IFBB pro bodybuilder. So he's awesome. So he writes me a diet, and I um, just recently, as of this week, started carb cycling. So throughout a show prep, everyone does, you know, things differently. Some people do keto, or um, which is, you know, basically no carbs. But I, right now... I'm doing like a couple days of you know I really I like cut my carb intake in half and then I'll do one day of like you know a regular like carb day so this has worked really well for me in the past this is something that anyone even not on a contest diet can actually utilize it um, carb manipulation tends to work really well in speeding your metabolism up so so can anybody do this kind of diet yeah no anyone can and you don't have to necessarily cut your carbs completely out like so normally um, for one of my meals, I'll do four ounces of sweet potatoes. So today's a low carb day. I'll do two ounces instead. Um, and then, you know, on a, I'll do that for three days. And then on, a, on the next day, I'll, I'll have a higher carb day. So it's really weird because you, um, sometimes you actually, your weight will stay the same throughout the low carb days. At least for me, um, sometimes my weight just like will really stick almost like sometimes it'll like go up like because of inflammation or whatever from my training and then um the higher carb day you you know you're feeding your metabolism and then your weight will just drop so how's your energy really levels throughout the diet i mean with this up and down as far as carbs go um with the carbs it typically the first couple of days isn't too bad um but i'm also getting i was you know i got really sick last week so i've been struggling a little bit with my energy levels i you know i've fall asleep like in every day <laughs> I've fallen asleep like in the middle of the day um, so that's part of it you know with with training and you know reducing your calories you're gonna be a little tired so I try and make up for that by you know resting just as hard as I'm training um, what would be like a typical diet like just say today what did you eat this morning and so, what are you gonna plan on eating for the rest of the day okay so this morning uh, I'm doing oatmeal right now so I ate I think like a a fourth a cup of oatmeal since it's a low carb day. Typically I'll do half a cup. Um, and then I'll do a scoop of protein powder, uh, a whey isolate. Um, I like Isoflex, this is one I use. It's peanut butter chocolate, it's my favorite flavor. Um, I also like chocolate mint, that's probably a really good one. But um, So I'll do that, a scoop of that, uh, oatmeal, and then um, a medium chain triglyceride as my fat. So you can get like a, an oil or you can use coconut oil for that, um, so that's typically what I eat for breakfast. Uh, and then, you know, I've, in the past I've used like cream of rice or I'll just do like egg whites, but uh, just, you know, some type of breakfast cereal. And then um, just before I came here, I ate ground turkey and sweet potatoes and I've been really into um, broccolettes lately. <laughs> they're like those, yeah, they're like broccoli, but they're longer, I don't know, they're really good. Yeah, yeah, with, definitely. With the morning though, with the oatmeal, do you um, do you cook the oatmeal or do you use the oatmeal raw? So do you add a shake and put everything together? I've done both, and some people think that's weird to actually, you know, mix the oats into their shake. But it's actually really great. It's, I mean, you don't even have to blend it. You can actually just let it sit. There is a recipe that I've I've heard you um, tell a customer before in Naperville. Yeah. And it's you, you take the protein and the oatmeal. You yeah. Eat it overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, overnight oats. Yeah. It's it. yeah. it's really convenient um, for people who especially either don't like to eat breakfast or um, are really rushed in the morning. Um, you can do just you know in, in your blender bottle a scoop of protein, you know half a cup of oats, and then you can use either water or you know I'd suggest almond milk or coconut milk something like that, um, and then you know fill it up and let it sit overnight in the in the refrigerator and it'll actually soften up and so that works really well. Sometimes if I'm you know, I'm busy the next day, and I do, because I do cardio in the morning, so I'll do cardio, and then if I have to do weights right after, I'll just bring a shake 
with me like that, and that'll be my breakfast, and I'll kind of like hang out at the gym for a little bit before I do my weights. So, so for the rest of the day, you said you mentioned turkey. Mm -hmm. um, I pretty much stick to ground turkey, fish, and egg whites. I don't, at least right now, I'm not really eating any red meat. Um, in the past, I've eaten chicken. I've noticed that chicken kind of like doesn't digest well for me, so it just kind of sits in my stomach. So those are typically what I what I stick to. If you ever an issue with too with uh, when adding these diets, you can add apple cider vinegar to a salad. Yeah, because that helps with the production of hydrochloric acid, so you'll digest. Um, the chicken and the, and the turkey and a lot of the foods mm -hmm. a lot more efficiently. So apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. the Bragg's is really good. You can either have that on a salad or you can mix it in with uh, two to four ounces of water to kind of dilute it because mm -hmm. it can be pretty strong. Or you can be like me. I just, <laughs> just, drink, it, way, I just drink it straight from the bottle sometimes. It could be a little yeah. harsh though. It's good. Um, you get used to it after a while. It actually, and I take digestive enzymes too with, a lot of, with um, at least three of my meals every day. So that helps with that. Uh, you know, utilizing all your protein, carbs, and fat. And you were mentioning too inflammation. Uh, you oh, just yeah. started using the new chapter Zyflamend. Mm -hmm. That's a great product, and I just started using it myself. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, I actually, you know, I've been selling this product a lot for people who have joint problems or any inflammation problems, but I wasn't actually taking it myself um, until about a week ago. Especially after after I got sick, I was like, you know, I should probably do. <laughs> probably do something to help with my, you know, my immune system. So I started taking Zyflamend, and I take, um, I take three of them a day. So serving sizes two, most people can take two a day since I'm, you know, in training right now, I'm taking three. And I've noticed a huge difference with it. Like I actually, I feel a lot less joint pain, a lot less, um, a lot less pain in general. I just think it, it's really great. Yeah, it's a great herbal-based product, and New Chapter is an herbal company. Yeah. Uh, they, their main focus is herbs, and um, some of the things that they do different from a lot of other companies is they do hydroethanolic and supercritical CO2 extracts. So that's why they remove the water-soluble and the fat-soluble properties from the herb. And this is one of the only companies that I know of that does this with herbs. Right, and they're certified organic, um, ICS certified organic. So I absolutely love New Chapter. Um, you know, most of their most of their herbs are, you know, just like the best on our shelves because they, like he said, the way that they extract them, they do assays on all their products so that they, you know, make sure that they have the actual components that you're looking for in a product. So Yeah, they're yeah. very cognizant about where they yeah. source out the raw material. Some of the ingredients too in the Zyflamin can help uh, naturally modulate inflammation. So yeah. you get your inflammation levels down, get your viral load down, your bacterial load down. Um, has oregano in there, which is antibacterial, mm -hmm. antiviral, um, antimicrobial. So turmeric. very effective. Yeah, turmeric. Turmeric is a you know one of the super herb. It's one of the most popular herbs that's out on the market right now. Yeah. So um, huzang, uh, Chinese gold thread, some herbs that are not as well known, but are very effective for naturally modulating inflammation, boosting the immune system, getting the immune system up. One of the things Alina got sick, so. You yeah, know. and I usually don't get sick. I mean, I, I'm typically pretty good with that, and I um, I just hadn't been taking, you know, hadn't been taking anything for my immune system, so but this traveling got you, a lot and stuff. This yeah. got your immune system up pretty quickly. Yeah, it did. I mean, right now, besides you know sleeping a lot, that's also been a huge a huge help is sleeping more. Um, but you know, those two combined have been great. Now, on some of the days that you know you're. Um, Cutting your carbs down, your energy levels, mm -hmm. I imagine, have to be low. Oh, you yeah. use Noxy Pro Chrome. Pre that is my absolute favorite um, pre workout right now. It is, CTD Labs actually had a Nox, they had Noxy Pro, which had the 1 3 uh, dimethylalamine. Um, I think I'm saying that correctly, but um, they had that product, that ingredient in it, and then, you know, there was a bunch going on with that, so they a lot of companies were pulling it. Um, and then they made Noxy Pro Chrome. And at first, the first couple of times I tried it, it was almost like too much. Like I couldn't, I got like, I felt like I was sick or something. But the, like the third time I tried it, it was just, it's absolutely, it's, it's crazy. So um, for me, there are definitely days where it's really hard to get the energy to go to the gym. It's not so much you don't have the motivation to do it. It's just that you can't like, you just can't get going. So this helps a ton with that. It helps a ton with, um, your mental focus. It has a product called Picotropin and Picomyelin in it, which is really great. Um, the other thing it has is the it's end caffeine. It's a 
capsulated caffeine that actually will break down slower so you don't get like a like a huge energy rush and then a huge crash where you get you do get that with a lot of pre-workouts and I've noticed that and this one you tend to you kind of ride that buzz even you know after your workout which is great so and this also has a yohimba in there too oh yeah that's one good. of the things too that she mentioned is uh, they changed um, this uh, Noxy Pro from the old Noxy Pro they removed the 1,3 dimethylamine our industry is protected by the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, 1994, and that gives us, you know, the ability to purchase vitamins, um, you know, fish oils without a prescription, which is great. So it gives the consumer and, you know, uh, their citizen the opportunity to buy things for their health without a prescription, um, and it is definitely under threat. So um, with the 13 dimethylamine, it was kind of a gray area ingredient. You know, there was reports of uh, people using it. And um, you know, having adverse effects, you know, with uh, heart conditions and stuff. So uh, CDT Labs made the Noxy Pro Prom without the one through dimethylamine. They replaced it um, ultimately with a lot of good ingredients, but one of the main ones is that alpha yohimba. Mm -hmm. That's a really good one. It helps increase mental acuity, focus, kind of gives you the impetus to want to train, work out. You feel like you know, you're when you get to the gym, yeah, like you're, yeah, you're exactly. Like you that's, feel like you want to work it. out. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And um, something that you sip on during the workout is the Gaspari Nutrition Amino Lab. Yeah. Um, I really like, I really like, first of all, tastes good. Um, they have pet form and amino ject in it. So there's like, basically it's a leucine peptide. Leucine's the main branch chain amino acid that's going to help, like, you know, open up the mTOR pathway so you can synthesize protein. So this is the one that I use. Um, and... It really does. It helps throughout the workout. I'll actually put in uh, a carb powder like um, either, you know, like DGC or I've I started using uh, Carbion that uh, All Max came out with, and that one's really good too. So I'll mix those two together sometimes, especially my higher carb days. Um, I'll do that. So yeah. Do you basically notice too when you take this that you're able to contract the muscle two to three more times per exercise? That's kind of yeah. how I usually sell it too because. You know, in the midst of the workout, you're, you know, you're training and you're starting to notice that, you know, your muscles fatiguing quicker and that you're not able to perform the workouts or contract the muscles efficiently. Mm -hmm. So amino acids kind of give you that ability to do that. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely noticed, you know, when I used to train in the past and I wasn't using any type of branch chain amino acid powder, it just, you know, you, you wear out quicker. Um, and ever since I started using those types of products, I do notice a lot, a lot better energy throughout the workout. So we'll definitely um, keep talking to Alina about mm -hmm. her diet and uh, some of the things that she's doing to prepare. Yeah. So thank you very much, and uh, please visit us at capitalnutrition.com. Thank yeah. you.